Hi everybody, I hope you are well. My name is Boo and welcome to my channel if you are new. Today we are in Creator Sim because I wanted to create some Sims for the new high school pack before it comes out in a few days. I have seen so many people create videos for the teen day challenge and to be honest I was feeling a little bit left out so I wanted to do something similar. I did already start the teen day challenge on my Twitter however I decided to stop after a few days. Honestly, I wasn't enjoying it as much as other people seem to be enjoying it and I think the reasoning was because, well, I'm not American. <laughs> I think a lot of the props were very Americanized and honestly I was just having a lot of trouble understanding what I needed to make. In Australia, our wording is a little bit different and we also don't have a lot of what the prompts were. We don't have freshmen, etc. and also in majority of the schools here we wear uniforms. In my high school we definitely did have different cliques like the popular kids and the band kids but to be honest we all looked the same. The school I went to had a very strict uniform policy. We had to wear black leather shoes, our uniform, no makeup, no piercings, no dyed hair. So creating a sim that was like goth or band geek was pretty difficult for me because all I could do was like google what it meant and go off that or like reflect back onto American movies that I had seen before and honestly I wasn't sure if I wanted to do more of like a modern day take on it or more of like a 90s take on it and if it was going to be modern day it was a little bit difficult for me because I just like don't know what high schoolers in America wear these days. In my high school we also did not have a variety of clubs, in fact there were no after school activities. We did have a netball and an AFL team but again they were just like regular students playing sports. No one made that their personality, there was like no cheerleaders or anything so it was just really difficult for me to make teen sims that is supposed to fit a certain stereotype because I just like haven't been around that my entire life. So yeah, I decided to quit after a few days because it was stressing me out and honestly I wasn't planning to do any teen cast videos but then I did end up filming one a few days ago but it was like an opposite teen look so even though it was a little bit difficult it was okay because I used the same base for both sims and it like wasn't that detailed. <laughs> but anyway I was having a think of how I could join in on this high school look cast trend because I was getting a little bit of FOMO and I wanted to do something before the new pack came out. So I was thinking I could do a creator sim for the teachers. Now unlike the students in Australia, the teachers were allowed to wear basically whatever they want and honestly there was a little bit of like stereotypes when it came to certain teachers. Generally a lot of the English teachers were very formal and a lot of the math teachers were very casual and wore like Superman t-shirts or like plaid and cargo shorts. Like there was definitely some stereotypes going on with the teachers. So I thought it'd be fun today to make a bunch of different teachers for different subjects. I did initially want to do eight, however when I completed my sixth sim I just was like oh okay this video is really long now so I just wanted to stop there and leave it at that. And to be honest the teachers that I didn't do were science and history but honestly the science and history teachers sort of had the same vibe as English and math anyway so I was like okay I'll just I'll just leave it here. So the different subject teachers I ended up doing was math, art, physical education, language, English and home economics and home economics is like cooking and also like sewing and stuff that was a subject we had in school I don't know whether that is also in America but it was basically like a class you would go to and you would either be like learning how to cook or bake or you'd be learning how to do sewing or knitting stuff like that just you know general like home economics I suppose. <laughs> um, so I started off with my math sim as you can see here. I decided to make a few male sims for this cast video which is new to me. I basically based them off the teachers that I 
had when I was in high school. So my math teacher was this really geeky guy who was actually pretty fit, but he was also a major nerd. He always wore like cargo pants with like a hundred pockets in it and every single pocket he would have a calculator in it. And I kid you not, if you showed up to class without your calculator, he would be whipping out calculators left, right and center from his pants so you could borrow. <laughs> Honestly, it made math really fun because he was such a goof and I just had a really enjoyable time in his class. And yeah, the cast that I did for math definitely represented him. The next one I did was art teacher. I struggled a little bit because I was looking for a certain dress that I wanted to put her in. I think I wanted to go for more like flowy dress with little belts and like a high bun rather than like overalls with paint on it type thing. I feel like if you're like an art major, you might be like wearing a little bit more of like overalls that you could like paint up. But all of the art teachers I had in school were actually really nicely put together and had quite like a quirky style. There is this brand in Australia called Princess Highway, which sells these beautiful dresses that have like Australian wildlife, Australian like fauna and flora on it. And I think a lot of the teachers that were in like the arts department or the media department used to wear these dresses. And I actually have a dress similar to this in my game and I struggled for so long looking for it that I ended up just picking something else. I went with this like long, overall type thing. It wasn't really what I wanted to go for um, when I first started making this sim, but I think it still worked out okay. She came out super cute. I love her little like femme body earrings so much. I think she was like absolutely adorable and I hope you guys also liked her too. The other sims I made were pretty basic. I sort of just went with a few stereotypes. For English teacher, um, I definitely went with quite like a formal look. I My English teacher in high school was a little bit stuck up. It was actually a male and I felt like I was always getting in trouble with him because I was so anxious in high school. I didn't like to read aloud and for some reason he just took it really personally. Um, so when I made this English teacher, she didn't really come out how I wanted her to look, but I was happy enough anyway in the end. I thought she looked a little bit unique. She looked a little bit different from my other sims and I think that was like what mattered the most. And aside from that, we also did language teacher. Um, the languages that we studied in high school were French and Japanese and the language teachers were always like either really stuck up or really quirky so I wanted to do like a little bit of both in one so I think she looks really nicely put together but you can tell she's got like a little bit of a fun side to her as well. And then we had the PE teacher. I basically just went with like a, a fit guy, <laughs> if I'm honest with you. Our PE teachers in high school never followed the rules and they would always like wear um, like singlet shirts and would have their shoulders exposed and everything. And no one would care, like they would just wear whatever they want, but they were always really loud and scary. <laughs> and then the final one I did was the home economics teacher. I think she is really cute. I picked like this really nice, puffy dress with a little apron on it. I think it really suited both the cooking side and also like the sewing side. I think she just looks super adorable. Um, I wasn't sure if I needed to cover up all of her skin, like her hands and her feet. So I gave her gloves anyway, just to play it safe. But I think she looks super cute regardless. And she has like a really, really nice face. I love like the minimalist look with the makeup that I did. And it's definitely a style I wanna go to again with just like the, I guess a clean look, like really, really basic, simple makeup, basically none. Um, I just think it was really sweet and she had these little freckles, which I absolutely loved. But anyway, these are my teachers. Uh, you will see them get made as the video goes on. <laughs> I'm not sure if we're able to assign Sims to work in the school or not. I feel like there is a teaching, there is a teaching career in the Sims, but I don't know how that relates to the high school. I don't think it will. I think it still wouldn't be a wormhole. And then the teaching career is going to be similar to like the bar tender or the food store people that would just like random Sims get picked. So I think I'll be able to assign my teachers through MC Command Center um, if that doesn't break when the pack comes out. <laughs> but um, aside from that, I feel like it's just cute to have these guys and I can pop them in the world. And if they do get assigned to the school, that's great. Um, if not, you know, that's okay too. But honestly, I'm really excited for the new pack to come out. I'm not sure yet if I want to start a new save to play with the new high school pack. I think it might be a good idea to do that so I can explore everything because if I do play it with one of my current challenges, I unfortunately don't think I will 
be able to fully focus on the high school aspect if I'm still trying to complete part of a challenge as well. But I do want to send my teenagers in and not so berry to the high school. So you'll definitely see it in my not so berry save if you are watching that challenge. But if you're not, I think I will be starting a separate like mini series or like at least one or two episodes to explore the new pack with you guys. I get a little bit nervous when new packs come out because I'm not like a big creator. So I'm not sure if you guys even would want to watch what I do in The Sims with these with the new pack because I know everyone else is going to be doing the exact same thing. So I get a little bit insecure sometimes like thinking, would you really be interested in seeing what I would do? Um, when you could literally watch anyone else. But when the werewolf pack came out, I decided not to film a video for it. And instead I just streamed in my Discord server. And honestly, I had so much fun that I kind of do want to film this time because I'm like, if something really fun and interesting happens, like it did in werewolves, I really want to like be able to watch back and like reminisce on that. Um, so hopefully you will be seeing something from me, but if you don't, I apologize. I probably just got bored or something. <laughs> it depends how much it breaks my game and the mods, to be honest. But anyway, I'm rambling. I am going to wrap up this episode here. I hope you liked my teacher makeovers. I hope you thought it was interesting and something a little bit different. If you did like it, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe if you're not already. And let me know down below who your favorite teacher was in high school. Mine was definitely my math teacher and it made me like math so much more in my adult life as well but until the next one i hope everyone has a wonderful day and i'll see you next time bye